Hello everyone, welcome back to General Understanding. Today we're going to be learning about the basics of dynamic planet, seawater, and salinity. What is seawater? Seawater is a mixture of 96.5% water, 2.5% salts, and smaller traces of other substances, including atmospheric gases. Seawater contains many crucial chemical elements such as iodine. The body needs iodine to produce thyroid hormones. Seawater composition. Seawater is made up of mostly water, as stated in the previous slide. However, it does contain small amounts of certain ions. The six mo most abundant ions in seawater are chloride, sodium, sulfate, magnesium, calcium, and potassium, in that order. The amount of ions can differ from place to place depending on the addition or removal of salts in the region. Okay, so now we're moving on to salinity. In oceanography, the definition of salinity is the concentration of solid material in the water. It can also include dissolved gases, because gases can become solid at a low enough temperature, but it does not include dissolved organic substances. Substances that are suspended in the water do not count either, since they are not dissolved. Salinity is measured in parts per thousand, or grams of salt in a kilogram. Parts per thousand is often shorn to just PPT. Salinity percentages and variation. The average salinity of the ocean is 35 ppt. However, the salinity of the ocean can vary anywhere from 33 ppt to 37 ppt. There are several factors that can increase salinity. High evaporation rates, formation of sea ice, and lots of wind are factors of increasing salinity. These processes take fresh water from the ocean. Although the amount of salt does not change from these factors, the amount of fresh water decreases. This decrease in freshwater increases the concentration of salt in the ocean. Factors that decrease salinity. High precipitation rates, melting of sea ice, and stream runoff are factors of decreasing salinity. These processes add freshwater to the ocean. Although the amount of salt doesn't change, the amount of freshwater increases. This increase in freshwater decreases the concentration of salt in the ocean. Salinity variations across different oceans. Some seas have high salinity levels due to evaporation, wind, and sea ice formation. One example of a sea like this is the Mediterranean Sea. Other seas have low salinity levels due to lots of pre precipitation, low wind, and melting sea ice. For instance, the ocean surrounding Antarctica is just below 34 ppt, and the Arctic is close to 30 ppt in some areas. So why is the ocean salty? Salt comes from three main sources. Land runoff. Rocks are eroded by slightly acidic rain. The ions from the rocks are carried away by streams and eventually feed into the ocean. Hydrothermal vents. A series of reactions cause heated water in vents to carry metals like zinc and iron. Underwater volcanoes. Volcanic eruptions directly release minerals and ions into the ocean. So here are the classifications of water by salinity. Oligohaline is waters with a salinity between 0.5 to 5 ppt. Mesohaline is waters with a salinity from 5 to 18 ppt. Polyhaline, waters with a salinity from 18 to 30 ppt, and so on and so forth. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. Hopefully I'll make a longer one next time. Bye!